think I've lost my mind What's good everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. And today, we're back with another exciting episode of The Sims 4. What? No, we're today we're back with a speed build. What do you mean, episode Malik? Um, yeah, today we're back with another speed build. In today's speed build, we are going to be going ahead and building an apartment, a college style. It's a tiny studio, maybe a couple. I don't know what the name is going to be, but most likely when you click the video, you'll see the name. But yeah, it's something in that in that genre but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy it though i really like it i love you guys know i love small spaces small spaces are definitely my thing and this apartment is just it just it just radiates me it's like it's funny because um as you guys know i love you know more of the actually no i think this does have it i think this is more like the chill this feels like a college apartment it feels like a like a, um a, not a preteen but um a pre-adult would live in this if that makes any sense something that i would definitely live at or live in so hopefully you guys enjoy as much as i do of course you guys want this it'll be on the gallery um i i i don't know if i'm gonna make it into a house or just a, a room i don't know yet i think i might just do a room because i don't want to do the exterior but hey you never know until i upload this what it's gonna be but um yeah i hope you guys do enjoy it thank you guys again so much for all the love and support um on this channel i also gotta go home and say thank you guys so much like yesterday was actually very fun to read the comments because i'm not as um <laughs> weird as i thought i was because i got some weird people with me um and it's actually cool to see what you guys um, are kind of into too, you know? Um, I think one of the big ones that I was like, oh my god, we're the same as kidnapping. <laughs> I know kidnapping is a bad thing. I know never kidnap anyone, people. Like, don't do it. It's not good. But I love me some kidnapping books. I won't even lie. Where the kidnapper falls in love with the kidnappy. I know. That's like kind of like Stockholm Syndrome, but whatever. I like it too. I like those type of books too. I think my favorite one um there's actually a whole flipping genre of them hold up hold up wait a minute um i know there was one called um saving soraya or something saving soraya or reviving isabel i don't know what it's called saving soraya hold on let me google this saving soraya According to Google Books, Nomi Levy just loves a good mystery, but until this summer, her no. greatest adventures were all in her head. That's not it. Um, something so... I don't even know what it's called. Isabel? Reviving Isabel? I don't know. There's different books. Too. Have a look at these pictures. Not diving. Reviving Isabel. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I was right. Reviving Isabel is book number two. Book number one is killing soraya that's what it was um yeah i know that one's a kidnapping book it's really good i really enjoyed it. i think i read it like what three two no two years ago i think so it's been a while but i, re I, I like still i remember the book to this day because it was just that good so um again i it's, it's cool to see what you guys are into too but um anyways enough about that um how y'all doing hope y'all doing good today i am i'm not doing that great <laughs> Y'all, I know, I'm pretty sure you guys know this about me, but I get invested into reality TV way too much. And my heart, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but no, I'm pretty sure you guys noticed. Um, I've told you this many times that I get invested way too much into reality TV. But um, anyways, especially like dating shows. And so pretty much I've been watching, goddamn, um, um, Australia's Love Island. And I was invested in this one couple. And right now they're having like rocky roads and I just, my head hurts. <laughs> I've had headache all day today because I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> of course they're going to break up. It never lasts. It's a reality TV show, Malik. What do you expect? But like, uh, you know when you just hope, you're like, oh, this one's going to work. <laughs> but it doesn't. But anyways, yeah, they're having rocky roads right now. It's, it's, it's too much. My heart hurts. I was so invested in that couple. Not as bad. Like, it's like, I actually think it was going to like, honest to God though, if it might, it might just get to, um, Big Brother UK season 17 bad. But, um, right now we're not there yet. Right now I'm like, I'm a, I'm a level below it because they're still kind of together. But like, I'm telling you, it's like, I can feel it happening. <laughs> I like the great depression might repeat itself so um no me being me because i know for a fact like when i get to this point and at like when i get to this point in um in a reality tv show i know for a fact i need to stop so i've 
I, I pretty much unfollowed every person on that show. I've un, I, I unfollowed every person on Twitter, on Instagram. I deleted all my stuff about it, all my tweets about Love Island, everything. I just deleted it all, and now I am the guilty queen. And I'm going to stop watching it for a while until my emotions can come back to me. Because, like, I should not be feeling this way about other people's lives, you know? I was so glad I'm invested. Like, I was, I've been moping around all day today because I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna break up. I'm like, I'm like, Malik, it has nothing to do with you. <laughs> oh, anyways, but yeah, my day has been, it's been weird. It's been very, very, very weird. But that's pretty much me. Hopefully, you guys are having it better than I'm having. Um, other than that, what do I have to talk about today? Hmm. <laughs> Should we continue on the books genre? Well, no, I didn't really. I haven't read any. Actually, no. No, we'll talk about those Korean dramas because those shit. Also, I just scared. Sorry, it's my language. But those things are great. Um, so I remember how yesterday I told you guys we talked about the age different thing and age gaps and how I love this one Korean drama called um, Angry Moms. Well, I'm rewatching it again. Why? Because, like, yeah, I love the age gap thing, but there's it is such a great storyline too. Um, if I didn't get into deep about it, I'll try to explain it more right now. So if you guys actually, if you guys want to like watch it, I recommend you guys do watch it because it's really good. I recommend you mute the video because there might be some spoilers. I don't know, but I'm, sometimes I can control my mouth and I'll say things without like without thinking. And so I might spoil it. But um, yeah, um, it's called Angry Moms. You can watch it on Vicky. Um, but anyways, so pretty much the book is about, not the book, <laughs> the show is about a mom who's, no, like, it's about, it's about a family, no, not really family, it's about a mom and her daughter, and how her daughter gets bullied at school, and then just how her mom goes to school and try to protect her daughter, and then it comes with, like, a, and then, like, a murder happens, and they're trying to figure out who the murder, well, we actually don't know who the murder is, but they're trying to figure out, well, it's, it's weird, because we know who the murder is, but they don't, so we're trying to, so we're trying to, like, help, not really help them, but, like, we're trying to watch them figure out how everything is solved and so little by little they're like understanding what's going on and then that type of thing you know so it's like a, it's like a mystery slash it's not even romantic there's no romance in it really um because none of the, oh okay spoiler alert, none of the ships that i want or even any of the ships that anybody wants in the show happens like nothing romantic happens i don't, I don't even think there's a kiss well maybe a thing i think there's a kiss between the daughter and the daughter's like I, th I honestly think he's like a not stalker but he's obsessed with that girl like that girl wants nothing to do with him but um he won't stop all because he's goddamn rich he thinks that he owns her which is terrible but anyways i think they end up getting together i can't remember that's why i'm rewatching it because i haven't watched it in like what three years it's been a long time i think the last time i watched it was in 2015 it's 2016 so like yeah, that's four years actually so it's been a while since i watched it so i don't know how the romance side goes but i just know i just I, I like i just I, it's really interesting to see how different i don't know it's just really interesting to me the whole dynamics of the show and it's really funny it is extremely funny like you will laugh if you're going to like a good laugh it's a good laugh it, it's extremely funny so yeah i do recommend you go watch it if you guys truly want to but yeah that's what i'm doing right now literally i took i i've been up all night watching it i'm on it's like what a one hour episode i started watching it last night and I'm on episode 7 already. It's so addicting. It is so good. But, um, yeah, I expected that. But, uh, anything else to talk about today? Sorry. Of course, you know me. I'm, you can guess it. I'm multitasking, like always, because I am late. I should have done this last night. But last night, I was watching TV while I was watching my Korean drama. And then, also, I was getting a head start on some homework that I have to do. Like, it's not due for, like, the next three weeks. But you know me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like I'm trying to get that procrastination thing gone like I'm, I am like I'm dead serious with myself all this time normally I'm the procrastination king I procrastinate on everything but no not today Satan today I am going to have no 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 this year I'm gonna have no actually that's a lie I procrastinated last month I mean last week but um this week I'm not procrastinating because it's like it's, it's weird because my a lot of my courses are like what two weeks not two weeks like half a half a semester long what the heck sorry i am building something and it's being really stupid is it the bed okay no it was the blanket i was like what the heck but um let's see if this works now yeah i probably need to up it one more sorry i'm like i said i'm multitasking i'm doing like three things at once um but yeah, so I, I started on my homework, which is good. And now, 
Ooh, that's too high. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna fix that later. I'm so lazy to fix that right now. Uh, you know when like you're building. By the way, for any builders out there, you know when you're building something and like it just, it just, it just won't line up right, and it's just, it's so annoying because you can fix it, but then you're like, oh god, and you keep going back and forth. It just won't line up. I'm at the point right now with this one piece of um. This piece of um not piece of tablet what this this laptop i wanted to look like they're like working on their bed but mm. also by the way guys so how are y'all still feeling about um university i'm asking you this because i literally stayed up i stayed up last night but i literally watched the um trailer about 15 times yesterday because i'm just that excited about university you guys don't understand like i am literally I'm so excited um and for what i saw like i told you guys the first time what my worries were that we we're only gonna get like um like, I, I thought we were only going to get, you know, um, specific subjects. That's it. I was, I, I never thought that you'd get, like, you know, for example, a creative, um, a creative, uh, a creative subject or, you know, a mechanical, not mechanical, handy subject or a sports subject. I don't know. But from what I saw, I definitely think there's going to be more than just one because we saw mechanics, um, or, or should I say robotics, and then I also saw a bit of politics, and then there was some person playing soccer, so maybe there's like a whole soccer scholarship thing, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just grasping on straws at this point, so I'm just, I'm trying, I'm trying to keep positive, because in lots, a lot of the times when it comes to the Sims 4, the Sims 4 team, I'm gonna say it's negative, but it's never what you actually think it's gonna be, so right now I'm trying to think, you know what, maybe they listened to everybody and what they wanted, and they actually did good this time, but we're gonna, we're gonna have to wait until the 15th, or just until we see some trailers i just like i said before i just really hope there's more subjects and you don't have to really pick like what's given to you like if they only give you like five to pick from i'm gonna get pissed off um actually i won't be that mad but like i just really hope that it's like they add like technology there okay technology will be definitely there i hope they add like arts music sports mm, what's another big one that we have painting um, actually, maybe they, I know they did. No, 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 actually, no, they did in The Sims 3. They actually kind of rounded up. Like, there was like an art major, there was a tech major, and then there was like, um, what was it again? A sports major? Where you could like, like majors and stuff, really? And then like everything, much of like the art major was like about music, painting, drawing, everything like that. Every, every arts was stuck into that major. And I think, like, there was a sports major. I can't remember. All I remember is that. All I remember is, like, the different, like, types of clans. You know how there was, like, the rebels, which was, like, the purple. And then there was, like, the jocks, which was, like, the orange. And then there was, like, what? The nerdy people, I think, which is, like, the green. I can't remember all of it. I can't remember all of it to a T. But I, all, it's all, that's all I can really truly remember. I haven't played Universe. I haven't played The Sims 3 in, like, what? Years. In years and years. Um, I just can't run it on my computer. I've tried it before, and my computer keeps on crashing the game. So I've given up on that, playing that ever again. But, um, yeah, I really do hope that they, they find a way to add just some more than just, like, what? Four majors? Hopefully that... Well, it depends on how they do it. I just hope that there's... I hope that I hope that I just hope that the technology one is just not all technology. Like all you can do there is robotics, and that's it. If that happens, then I'm gonna be really pissed off because that's not what I hoped for. Um, so, anyways, that's just my little comms and little nitpicks about the whole new pack but then that's just me but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and leave off this comment right here i want to thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys had a great day thank you guys again i'll see you guys in the next one I'm out. this is peace bye love y'all and i'll see y'all tomorrow guys bye